Howdy diddly dandy there, chums. It is I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys in the Viewerverse, I'm going to be jumping into No Man's Sky, and I'm going to be visiting Scottish Rod. Now, Scottish Rod has been busy making a base inside of the NMSA 905 hub, people. I'm going to have a little sip of this before we do. Nice, fresh from the kettle. And, uh, yeah, also, Scottish Rod works on Apple Macs, and uh, he's got a little bit of a theory on why we haven't seen the Apple version of No Man's Sky drop yet, so we'll touch on that while I'm there as well. Anyway, let's jump on and over into game, people. Heck yes. Chicka boom. Well, people, I'm on my way to this base that Scottish Rod has prepared a catered, and I've got Rod on mic. You should be able to hear him. Hello. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> You're, yeah, you're coming through loud and clear by looks of things from my levels and I'm seeing, so that's all good. Nice I'll one, move Rod. my microphone closer just to make sure. Sweet. Holy fudge. Looks it's... like a giant Iron Man shield, or a nipple shield or something. <laughs> Needs ta- Oh no, it's lit up! It looks like a UFO now, it's got lights all around it. That looks freaking awesome. Alright, I'm going to land over by the archive and take a little stroll over. Hopefully by the time I get there it would have all loaded in okay. Yeah, it loads in quite fast. Oh, does right. look very, very spectacular. Oh, with the... Meow. Here I come. If you... Yep, uh, yeah, it's best to uh, approach it from one day. From... There's a teleporter at the archive. It's like some Easy access. weird little droid thing hanging off the bottom of it. And it looks like yeah. everything's being beamed up into it. Yeah, look inside the... Look inside that. I've gone into camera mode to have a little butchers. Oh wow! There's all flowers and stuff being beamed up and boxes and things in the background. Very cool. Okay, well let's go through the mouth of this weird sort of crustacean type looking creature room. Oh, there's you. I just saw you in camera mode. Oh, you knocked me out in camera mode. I'm, I'm going. To... Oh, you got some. You got some hologram dudes in there. Okay, let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. Hello, Rod. I see you. Now. Hello. Hello, yeah. mate. Cool. Oh, you got your cloak on. Oh, you can see my cloak? No! no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Oh, I teleported straight away. Oh, I'm up here. I'm in here. Oh, look, there's yeah. all the flowers coming in. Nice. Okay, thank you. Right, well, there's quite a few teleporters in here, isn't there? Oh, the other one goes back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, shall we go through here? <laughs> right, Ron, <laughs> do you want to show us around this gaff, mate? Yeah, all right. Okay. Right, can you hear me fine? I can, oh, yeah, I can uh, indeed. I'm not sure how it's going to sound though. Cool. Right, so this is a flight deck. Wow! And um, I uh, created a, a Star Trek type flight control here. That is cool, isn't it? <laughs> Do bridge commander in VR, nice. <laughs> yeah, yes, the match wants to all we come here in VR. Cool. Oh, it's just like <laughs> the captain's chair bit here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet! <laughs> So I could be down here, you to mash and Wolfie up there. <laughs> Wolfie on, on security, obviously. Obviously, yeah. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah put the mash and engineer and you'd probably blow stuff up. <laughs> what, 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 you, what station would you like? <laughs> uh, don't, uh, being Scottish, don't you dare do it. Don't you dare say it. I'm don't in you command dare, of the teleporters, <laughs> of course. <laughs> don't you say it. <laughs> yeah, there we are. <laughs> Beam us up, Scotty. <laughs> Engineer, bloody hell. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, of course, we've got um, a little area. This base is 3,000 parts, by the way. Oh, wow. This is where uh, you could sort of pretend <laughs> that you're beaming us to places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got an yeah. okay. experimental area. Oh, wow. Our mm. little cryopods for like when we're going super far or something. Oh, look, this is a holographic gag. Yeah, there's a story here. I just put five pounds it, it, in his belt buckle, nothing happened. No, um, he's basically inside a container, isn't he? He's been, <laughs> he's been locked away. Yeah, and if you look inside this one, it, it, it's why gone is a bit make, weird. Why is he making Viking noises? I have no idea. That's weird. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, well, they, they are experimenting on them, so if you come yeah. over to this screen here, it sort of tells you what they're up to. Oh, OK. Cool. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yes. Gek mixed with jellyfish equals death. Okay, so they're poisoning the gek. This is a good idea. Okay. If you look over here. Yeah. Uh, oh my so... days! Is this where they're going to stick like a creature in his belly? I don't know. That's that's a that's a that's a deceased gek. 
Oh, nice. There's all <laughs> pustular nastiness in there. Okay, that's what I expected the insides of a gate to look like, to be honest. Yeah. And of course, then you got their um, engine rack. with the bubbles. Nice. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the bubbles yeah. cool in the back of the controller things here. We're pumping oh, yeah. fluids in. Oh, yeah, sweet. <laughs> Sneaky. Okay. Yeah. So we got the engine at the back with um, some bits and pieces. We'll get Very cool. Yeah, oh, look, you've hit the hit the vaults in here as well. That, that's that's cool. A workable <laughs> engine with vaults. Yeah. Nice, because you know, I always wonder where to stick the vault containers because they're massive. That that works well. And you can shrink them down in VR because you can't use them. And you're torturing another gek here, right? Yep, torturing another gek. Yeah, you can see the little thing with, and you can see one that's already gone to the next stage. Nice. I like the use of these carts. That's very nicely done, Mr. Rod. Oh yeah, I made the carts. Yes, yeah. that was quite fun making them. Very cool. Yeah. And of course, round back here, you've got more computer screen for extra torture. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Radiating your little aliens to stick inside the gex. Nice. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Proper mad <laughs> science going on in here. This is great. <laughs> Yeah, we've got more here. Cool. And then we're back at there. Oh, yeah, we've got the canteen. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you can just serve us drinks and food. Nice. Oh, well, there's food there. Very cool. I love that. You've done a real good job on these little plates of food. I like the look at that burger. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, it was making me hungry when I did it. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That was really did... quite tasty. Uh, we've spent quite a bit of time here, so I did order takeaway after this <laughs> <laughs> very cool i love it this is awesome so this is actually inside of the nmsa hub and scottish yes, rod has been spending a long time building this out for us so maybe if wolfie's up for it and damash and rock and uh, Ro we might just mess about in here in vr maybe and oh yeah look at that look up there look at the you have to go in camera mode but look at the top container Contain. Oh, oh no! I, 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 I went and hit report base instead of camera mode. <laughs> 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 no, I, I didn't actually submit it though. You're all right. I uh, know. Yeah. Just watch this vanish. <laughs> like we're standing yeah, in it. <laughs> yeah, it vanish for you. You just fall through and I'd be stuck. <laughs> yeah, that'd be shite, wouldn't it? They shouldn't yeah. put those so close to bloody gather. That's Tell cool. me about it. Yeah. If you look inside, it's got like they've organised the collection because the glass tube all the way bottom sucks up all the plants. That's very cool. I and love it. And the one it. at the bottom is collecting things, so it's collecting life forms and fauna and fauna. I and honestly minerals. really like this base. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> you know how much I like the old conspiracy theories and UFOs and all that sort of stuff. So this is this is perfect, mate. Nice one. Because you was going to build a Godzilla, weren't you? Yeah, but the, I, I did a base count part. But like I did a base count part on this one just for the UFO alone. It's two thousand one hundred parts. Wow. So I only had nine hundred parts to do all the lighting and the layout well, you know what it done a sterling job mate really and if like you come this. at the back because come teleporters on. don't always work well, where are you uh, okay i'm coming i'm coming yep uh by the vaults yep cool, yeah. by the vaults yep this is the back end yep i had okay. to create a little door at the back so you can get in and out cool a little rectal door nice there we go i Boom. created a jump puzzle just in case you want to get any of the teleporters aren't working oh sweet Oh, that's clever. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so you can just jet back up here because you can just use the boxes to take a breather. Oh, yeah. nice. I like it. That's a good idea because sometimes that happens. Yeah, but sometimes the teleporters don't work, especially the updates. Yeah. So it's whenever there's an update and the base is not properly working, we've got the jump puzzle at the back. Brilliant. I love it, Rod. It's freaking awesome. I love the placement uh, as well. If beautiful. you come to the roof... The roof. Okay, uh, let's see if we fly away up there. Bum, bum, ba, da, no, you have to bum. use the boxes. I'm going for it. I'm going for it because I'm a numpty. Right, here we go. I've made it. You make, just made it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Once you've the got, roof. you've got this nice layered roof with all the lighting. Oh, I love it, man. That's so cool. <laughs> so. And all these skylights and everything. Oh yeah, yeah, here's all the. That's very nicely done, Rod. Yeah, in my tutorial it covers how to do all this. It's just like, this is my latest obsession in building. Oh, you've done a tutorial for this, have you? Yes, yes, yes. I'll put the tutorial link up there, people. So if you hit that, you can see how Rod built all this and how he made this lovely roof and the interiors. I'll take it. And if you go in camera mode and look underneath. Yeah. Ba -ba. And look at the base bit. You'll notice how smooth the underneath is. 
I'm so pleased with that. It's freaking <laughs> awesome, Rod. <laughs> Very cool. It just get that lovely smooth sort of UFO feel underneath. Now, I haven't seen many UFO builds in No Man's Sky. I've seen a few pop up on sort of screenshots and things, but I have to say this is functional and awesome to look at. You've done a sterling job. Yeah, the only thing I'm annoyed about is like bases, if you go over two floors, they're basically um storms, they're not airtight. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit weird that isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't register properly. We are breaking the game though, so Technically, yeah. Well, you're not breaking the game, but taking the game beyond its normal limits. I mean, you should be able to yeah. build something like this, really. But they have given us the green statey stuff where you can layer oh, stuff, so you know. I'm doing wire glitches now, the, the, the timing between the two, they, they, they slowed down the timing. That's why people are having problems using wires. Oh, okay. To find the game to connect because they slowed down the timing to make glitching accessible mm. to everyone. Okay. Yeah, I, sometimes I can just hit one button and both of the glitches will come into place. Oh, it nice. just because the timing is so slow now. Oh, okay, not so nice. Oh no, it's them um, designed that way to make it so easy for everyone. Cool. Well, I'm liking this, Rod. Thank you very much. This has been a fantastic tour, and your bases are awesome as always, sir. But yeah, hopefully we can have a little bit of a mess around in here. I know you keep asking me to come play VR in permadeath, but I've. Only... <laughs> I've only got one permadeath save. I'd much rather just play normal and have a tinker around, make up our own mission and just uh, have a bit yeah. of a laugh about worrying about death. Oh no, we've already got a character's be I, I, I upload my saves every so often to make sure I don't lose it. So I can yeah. get it off the cloud. I've done the permadeath where I've done it properly. I'm not going to do that again. Cool. Yeah, it's just that added sense of danger. Yeah, you've got quite a nice archive here actually. It's pretty darn sweet, isn't it? Yeah. You know you know the archive at the moment? You see the bottom half of it, you've got all this sort of like smoke coming out the bottom of it. It looks like yeah. it's actually landed here, and this looks like landing gear at the base of it, doesn't it? Yes. And it looks like all these ramps probably just spilled out the front of it. It's almost like the space stations, the new looking space stations, one part of it has broken off, come down here and landed. That's kind of how it looks, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Yeah. I just took it as archives. Yeah, I honestly think they're going to share a relationship, the archives with the stations, but it could just be a visual thing. You know, I've got a dyslexic head. I'm not good with letters. I'm not good with numbers. I'm good at, you know, images and but, patterns. Oh. oh, they might have worked to put any of those new space stations. Hmm, yes. There's, there's something coming. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I've told you what I think and when I think. Yeah, yeah. In line yeah. with the old Apple Mac VR goggles and all that sort of shit. If, if, if they appear... Mm -hmm. If they appear on stage with Apple, then it's going to be something meaty because that's what Apple wants. Yeah. I think and of course, um, Apple, if we are getting launched in June, which I think it is because it's been delayed already. Yeah. And those goggles are unbelievable, by the way. Mm -hmm. The research I did into them, it's like, whoa. Mm -hmm. um, it'll give them global um, appearance. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's everything's telling me if. No Man's Sky is the major VR game. Yeah. Apple's altered the Metal 3 software to make it easy to port games now, because that was always the issue with Apple. You couldn't port games easily. Mm -hmm. So they've changed all that. Yeah. And the VR goggles are basically a singular unit. Yeah. They're going to have to either one or two M2 chips, which basically means they're going to have the same power as um, a desktop computer or a high-end laptop. Um, 8K screens. What? 8 8K. Well, both? Both yeah. screens are 8K. One thing Apple always gets right are the screens. Jesus. Eye tracking. Yep. And already in all your um, iOS devices, mm -hmm. you already have um, AR technology. Augmented reality. Okay. Augmented reality already yeah. integrated. Cool. And there's something about hand gestures instead of controllers interesting so they ha they track your hand movements at the same time okay well i mean a lot of this does make sense because if mm. no man's sky is a launch title for it and this it's got all this new tech in it it's going to be amazing for hello games as a selling point and something to yeah. bring in some revenue but not only that it's going to really help apple with selling these units mm -hmm. it's, an, it's properly interconnected 
But Apple makes its money out of the patents that it creates. It doesn't make its money from the technology itself because it creates advanced bits and pieces and it's all, they're in full control of every aspect of it. They basically can make the patents, like all smartphones has Apple patents in it. Mm. So every time you buy any smartphone, Apple gets a cut of money. And okay. that's why the FT, the thing we were talking about when they said they're moving into the VR market, what they are yeah. thinking is Apple will only sell about a million units, yeah. but the patents will seep into the rest of the VR technology. Makes sense. And they'll make money from everyone else and stay at the high end. I, I think that's a very good business hat and good logical sort of bit of speculation there, Rod. And that explains yeah. why we haven't actually heard anything from the whole Apple thing for a while. Anyway, Rod, yeah. look over this way. So you see which way I'm looking right now? Yep. Yeah, facing that way. Yep. Do you see those three ships just, well, four ships, just stuck in suspended animation? Yes. Isn't that weird? Yes. I flew past your UFO, and that's what happened. Yeah, the scared to come any closer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a feature in the back of the UFO you might not notice. The engines. Oh, I didn't see any engines. At the back, yes. Okay, where, where, where's the back? Right, right here, where I'm standing. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right, I'll go into camera mode. Boom. Let's have a look, see. Oh, yeah, I like the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. <laughs> Very awesome. It also, it. at the back, it gives it that um, battery's not included feel as well. Oh, I used to love that with those little robot discs. That, yeah. 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 When I did it, it was like, oh, yeah, I could have done a smaller version. Battery's not included. Very. And cool. then done two of them. <laughs> created yeah. the two. Like, but I did that after. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, I'm really impressed, Rod, and uh, it's been awesome being here and just chatting with you about some of these theories to do with Apple. Because you work on an Apple pretty much every day. You're a graphics designer, aren't you? I was with, I was, yeah, graphic designer, yeah. So yeah. basically, I was at, using Apple when it was still beige before Steve Jobs came back. Yeah, I used to work on an LC2 Power Mac when I used to do my graphics design. That yeah. was the first yeah. Apple I ever used. Yeah, it's the old. Yeah, I had um, a, worked on a Lisa as well. <laughs> The studio so. <laughs> down the road had the uh, blue see-through screen ones where it was all built into the monitor, and I was like, oh, I'm so jealous. But no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And nothing now, aren't they? You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I remember getting the first iMac when it came out and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I wish I'd bought fucking shares back then. Oops, swore. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd bought shares back then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just, yeah. Oh, wow, look, a load of frigates have just spawned in. Oh, I won't see them. They're um, character based. Are they? Oh, that yeah. sucks. Yeah, they're uh, each. They're only animated to per character. Oh, okay. That's a bit of a shame. I mean, we all see yeah. the same um, worms when they appear, don't we? Yeah, yeah, but that doesn't take much rendering. Ah, uh, okay. Fair yeah, because of the detailing on the frigates, there's mm. so much detail on it. They just associated that per save rather than. Well, in one of the trailers, they actually showed ships shooting at frigates in low orbit. And I really mm. wish we could do that sort of thing, you know, chase these down and shoot the shite out of them. Give and it time. Them it, and, it's like yeah. the eye tracking. It's like there's probably just one guy working on it. <laughs> I, could, I, had the, I could hear the conversations now. He's got to do eye tracking for the PS5 and then the Apple. <laughs> and he comes around and says, I can't do both. And say, all right, do both at the same time then. Mm. <laughs> and I go, thank you. Yeah. Oh, I went into camera mode and they disappeared. That sucked. Yeah. Mm. Didn't take a nice picture of them. They zamped and zoomed off. Yeah. Uh. All right, Rod. Well, like I say, been awesome. Thank you for building this. I am very appreciative of it, and uh, hopefully we can use it for something, a bit of fun. Yeah. <laughs> a bit of fun, yes. Yeah. All right. Thanking you. Thank you, Steve. Righto, people, isn't he a lovely guy? Heck yeah, Scottish Rod's freaking awesome. Thank you very much, Mr. Rod, if you're watching this back. I really do like that base. I'm sure we'll be able to do something fun there. Anyway, people in the universe, I'm going to go drink this. It's still still freaking piping hot. Fudge and heck. That's mental. How does that stay that hot? Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.